I'm Nicole. I work at a very large healthcare firm. And part of my job is to be over enterprise-wide dashboards. And so across the country, we have lots of hospitals. And one of the big focuses that we are doing is opioid reductions. Because 85% of people that get addicted to opioids do so after an elective surgery. So say I'm playing soccer and I have a bad ACL accident, I go in for surgery and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I need these pain pills. Well, part of what my company does is we prescribe multimodal pain medications. So like your Celebrex or Gabapentin, other medications that will help reduce your pain, but not get you addicted to opioids. And through this program, we're able to track outcomes. So how quickly am I able to walk after my ACL surgery? Or um, how much money did I save because I'm not staying in the hospital because I'm asking for opioids? So this is a fantastic program that utilizes data, meaning individual patient details, and presents it in charts and graphs that physicians and executives love to see and we overall reduce opioid addictions across the country. So my role as a healthcare clinical analyst actually started way back in the day when I was in high school and I was really good at math and science and my dad's an engineer and he's like, well, why don't you just be an engineer? And the Society of Women Engineers offered me a nice scholarship because of my scores in math and science. And all of a sudden I was like, oh my gosh, all this calculus is so hard for me. What do I want to do? Well, I'm still really good at math, but just not calculus. And so I wound up combining my technical acumen with healthcare acumen and becoming a clinical analyst. And I always knew that I was going to do something technical, math, science related, because honestly, I just wanted to make a lot of money.